Welcome to the gap. This is the gap. Yeah. They should have never gave you platform. Let's get on to the next segment. And this is motherfucking mean time. Ooh, fucking mean time. Boy, I don't love my memes. All right, Halloween just passed this past Sunday. So, hope y'all got your candies. Even though there's a supply chain fucking shortage or issue, which means a lot of people probably didn't even have candy to give to the kids. I'm telling you, this is a supply chain issue. It's hurting everybody. Uh. <laughs> oh, look it. So, Halloween is past Sunday. Cool. This was the inspiration of this meme. And it's fucking true. All right. Y'all remember the scene? The scene? Y'all watched Jason the Scary Movie? I think this was Jason 3. But I could be wrong. Remember the black dude squared up with uh, Jason? Trying to knock his head off? He was punching this nigga. Pow, 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 pow. No effect. This nigga Jason said, Boop! Knock that nigga head smooth off! Goddamn! It's fucked up. But it got... The guy breath squaring up with Jason and said, Remembrance for the only brother that tried to shoot the fade with Jason. Fist bump. Emoji with the fucking medical bandage over his head with the sad face. Because I just told you what happened to this nigga when he fought Jason. <laughs> Deal! Deal, man! They always tell you don't be the first black person to do anything. And he was the first black person to try to throw hands with Jason. Never works, people. Never works. You're the first black person to do something, most likely you're going to get shitted on. Or it ain't going to go out the way you think it's supposed to go. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Next me. Oh, man, bro. Y'all know what's been going on. Alec Baldwin. And you know motherfuckers are going to make memes. Hey, man. Sh this shit is crazy. It says, and it has L Alec Baldwin looking like, what the fuck is going on? How the fuck did this happen? Man. He, it says, I stand behind Alec Baldwin. Because no way in hell I'm going to stand in front of him. Get my gist. God damn. <laughs> shit. Yo. There is so many problems with what was going on with the uh with the um rust incident. So basically, what happened was, a they um Alec Baldwin won. Why are you pointing this gun at this woman? You feel me? Like I I don't I don't get it. Like why are you pointing the gun? I don't care if it's a prop gun. Point the shit in the air. Don't point it at somebody unless you got all the safety precautions in fucking order. Two, how does that happen? Like what the fuck? Like. Y'all don't double check, triple check. It just, it doesn't, that shit made no sense. None at all. Like, bro, like, I don't, I just don't get it, bro. Like, was the project assistant, like, wasn't on par and Alec Baldwin fucking up? That was a major fuck up on his part. Hold on. I want to get more in depth into this shit too. This shit fucking doing this. What the fuck is going on? Man, I personally think though that why are they using fucking real ammunition? Why are they using fucking real ammunition? What the fuck? Man. So much shit that go wrong with that went wrong with that fucking incident, man. And RP to that lady. I'm trying to find her name real quick. You feel me? Blah 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 blah. Reading the article. What is her name? RP to her. Yeah, so R.I.P. to Halana Hutchins. Man, like, cinematographer, bro. Like, man, she was, this is probably about to be her big break, too, and shit, man. Like, 
This is what I say, man. This y'all have to be careful with this shit, bro. When it comes to these guns and shit, bro. I don't give a fuck if it's proper or not, man. Be fucking careful. And for damn sure, I ain't standing in front of this nigga Alec Ball. This nigga reckless. And, hey, man, comments below. Let me know. Y'all think he should do some jail time? I think so. This nigga being careless. That was being careless. And everybody else involved in that shit was careless, too. Careless motherfuckers. Goddamn. Uh. All right, man. You know what I mean? This mean got the dude from Friday. They got buy out here with the uppercut, right? Debo took his chain. Then we got Dr. Umar. And they somebody photoshopped his head on Debo body. And it reads People tripping, man. They want me to ask you for my money back. For that school you said you were gonna start up. <laughs> oh shit! And it reads it says What money under Dr. Umar? <laughs> That's funny. I personally still think Bruh is going to build the school and he talked about he's still trying to he was trying to find like HVAC people to kind of help him build the shit for free? Which is kind of weird because it's like, why don't you use the money to kick them shit off or like a discount or something? I don't know, bruh. I still got, I still got faith he's going to build a school. Six months though. This nigga got six months. Six months, which means it's like March or April. If he don't build it by then, that shit ain't gonna get built. I'm saying it right now. And if it get does get built, I'll say I'm wrong. But I give it six months. If he ain't built it by then. I don't think it's gonna get built. 